KFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Tuesday morning, 30 minutes to go until that opening bell. And we got markets accelerating to positive territory. Dow futures up 1.6% right now, trading up 389 points at 24,388. You have the S&Ps positive by 40 points. That one po well, that's 1 1.4%, trading at 29.09. NASDAQ futures up 91 points, a full percent at 89.16. Oil volatility yet again we're going to start it off with oil zooming in on the action from the close basically yesterday you see the real action we slide to lower prices reaching a low of ten dollars and seven pennies but talk about an acceleration we trade two dollars plus higher and just like that we give it up two dollars lower since about 7 45 a.m this morning we're now up almost a dollar fifty from ten dollars and fifty cents you have the crude contract trading at 11.92 down about 6.6 percent on the session Talk about volatility, folks. Get ready for it. Jumping back to the charts, we'll start things off with the Dow. Talk about an acceleration right from midnight, 23,881. We're now trading 24,407. So you're talking about 500 plus points from that price level. NASDAQ 100 trading at 89.21. S&P's climbing higher from midnight as well from 28.52. We're now up exactly 60 points since midnight at 29.12. Crude oil we talked about, $11.85. There's your gold contract, up a bit on the session technically at 1728. We were as low though as about 1706, so you're $22 off the lows that we had overnight in gold and your euro US dollar at 108.69. In terms of what you have happening in the market, I'm going to jump through some headlines for the earnings we have from overnight this morning. Pfizer beats first quarter earnings estimates in a race to develop the coronavirus vaccine. You have Caterpillar out there says first quarter sales declined 21%, no outlook for 2020. 3M shares rising after first quarter sales increase on strong demand. We have Southwest, first loss since 2011. And Pepsi, adjusted earnings rise as consumers stock up. The key I saw in this one, to zoom down to the end, the company is still expecting to repurchase 2 billion in shares and spend 5.5 billion in dividends for Pepsi. We'll jump over to Pepsi shares on that number, trading higher at 136. 90 and Caterpillar shares for the volatility going to open a bit lower at 114.77 and the VIX as we wrap it up check out that trend 31.35 stay tuned folks Larry Pesavento coming up with trade what you see I'll be back at 10 o'clock with Tom and then live programming all the way through the market at tfnn.com we'll be right back